Okay, welcome to the PDMS gun station, which is found in the back left side of the lab. Uh, right now I'm going to show you how to set up a cartridge for a PDMS. Um, basically the cartridge is made out of small individual pieces, which are found in a box in the middle of the lab on top of the glassware cases. So basically the, the little parts that you need to take out are the two pistons, the big and small, the retainer ring, which comes in later, the plug, and the plug ring, which is just a, an accessory just to make it easier to take out the plug. And the two piston plugs, which work with these two. And, of course, the reservoir cartridge, which is here. And the size of the cartridge basically this dictates the, the, um, the ratio of the cement and the fixer. And in this case, it's a 10 to 1 ratio. Um, to start filling up these, uh, these uh, tubes, basically, you need to use the plug, which is this gray... Um, apparatus over here and just plug the ends of the two holes and basically just make sure it's firm because what we're going to do is turn it around and unless you have a helping hand or you can use a clamp just to immobilize the, the cartridge vertically uh, we fill our more viscous cement in this bigger uh, tube and our, and our more liquidy uh, fixer into the smaller tube. It's also important to just fill it up to four-fifths of the width. You don't really need to fill it up all the way because it'll become a, a problem. Our next step is to take our pistons and to make sure that the radial design pattern is the one that's in going inside and the plug side is coming outside. It may be tricky at first but you can you can push it in there and you push it in very gently because if you push it in too hard liquid will come out and it can hit your eyes and basically just to be sure to go down slowly until you see a bit of liquid coming out of the plug hole that means you've touched the surface and mostly the air has left the tube now it's also important to plug it but only plug it after you have actually put in your piston and just to plug it just put it in there and push it down and uh, and that's it you just push it in make sure it's nice and fit and you do the same thing with the bigger piston. Now it's a bit trickier, but there we go. Almost no. There we go. It's a bit trickier, but it's really tighter. So now that it's in, you push it down until it reaches the, the, the surface of the liquid again, and then you plug it with the green plug. So now that we have our liquid in here, we still have a bit of oxygen that's trapped in here. So what we do is usually we tip it over, and then when it's still closed, we tap it a bit. This way we make sure all the oxygen kind of comes up to the top, and we can actually loosen our plug and leave it out like this for, for maybe like 15 minutes. That way any extra oxygen will actually come to the surface and leave. Now that once our, our cartridge is ready, we usually label our name and our date that we made it so that we know how, how long we can preserve it. I already have a pre-made one over here. And now I'll show you how to fix this into the PDMS gun. First thing is you use the latch in the back here, and you push it all the way in, and then you pull out the two pistons all the way out. Then you take your cartridge and you put the smaller piston down head first until you hear a click noise, like that. And then you push this all the way until it comes flush against the pistons of the tube. Now that it's set, uh, what we do is we take out the plug from the top and we use our mixer tips. These tips are important because they're made with a the inside is made with like a spiral uh, design which allows you to mix the top and the bottom part. So we fix that in and this is not this is not solid enough so you have to use the retainer ring that we showed up in earlier. So you slide that in and you twist it until it locks. Now our gun is ready to use. Usually what's really important is to push out whatever extra there is. Unfortunately our cartridge is almost empty so I will not be able to show that. But usually press down until you get rid of the first parts of the mix because that usually is the part where it's not very well mixed or there's oxygen caught in the tube. Once you push that out, now you're ready to use your gun. Let's say you use your gun and you made your petri dishes or your molds or anything you want. To remove you just go backwards. You first undo your lock, take out your piston, plug, sorry take out your tip, not piston, plug, um, push the thing to free the, the cartridge, press the button at the bottom, this undoes the thing, um, the cartridge, and then push the piston back in, and then put the cartridge back in the tube and that's it.